There we go. So hello, hello, hello. We're going to continue on with the grand campaign today. Today we're going to be playing as good old Croatia. So my goal is for this segment of the uh, grand campaign is just to set a good foundation for Croatia going into uh, Victoria 2. If we can form a foundation where we're able to form Yugoslavia once we switch over to games, because it's only like a hundred-ish years. We're two, maybe three countries away from us switching over to the new game. And I'm excited for that. But today as Croatia, we have... I mean, we are... Go back to Croatia. We are a kingdom. We have Queen Regent Samir Rafadia. We're a 6 five, Oh, actually, we're absolutely fantastic. Um, we're really good there. We have one extra relationship slot. Who are we allied with? We're allied with France and Italy and Savoy. But there was Ming. I, I changed it last minute to Croatia. We'll probably do Ming after this. It'll be the next country. But, okay, we're going to play Croatia. We apparently have all of these claims over the um, the Balkans. So we probably want to be pushing away in that direction. I wouldn't mind capturing the rest of Sicily and just putting them out of their misery. We also have a technology. We can go up to Admin Tech 22. Admin Efficiency, Development Efficiency, plus 10%. I mean, we're actually pretty far behind on our Admin Diplo Tech. And we do have an idea. We also have Admin Ideas, which is a 10% Tech admin debuff or decrease. And it gives more governing capacity. So you know what? We'll probably go with you first. Take that. There we go. 10% cheaper taxes or 10% cheaper admin tech. So we have religious ideas, offensive, diplomatic, offensive, admin, and espionage. I don't think I really ever use espionage. But I'm sure it's okay. We are currently building society record against um, Abyssinia. We have counter espionage against Hungary, and we've also got a spy network in Byzantine Empire. I don't really think we need anybody in the Byzantine Empire. We'll try to sabotage reputation, stop building spy networks, steal maps. I guess we can sabotage reputation. Why not? And then we're gonna get you the hell out of there. When it comes to a Croatia, or when it comes to Abyssinia, I will fabricate claims on, let's just say Cairo. The Suez. Okay, can I do... Okay, I can't do two. So we'll go with the Cairo. And then we're going to take Suez. And then we can take... Probably Sinai to at least connect our Arabian and Egyptian territories. Um, Sinai... Is... Why? Oh, no. We already have a claim there. What about Gaza? They okay, fabricate Gaza. And there we go. Fantastic. Speaking of which, I was watching Last Emperor, which felt bad for Puyi. Um, what's this? It's the Last Emperor. I'm assuming it's a show. But actually, I don't actually know what the Last Empire is. Or the Last Emperor. It might be a documentary as well. Um, policies. Do we have any free ones? Policies at any time. Base of three. Right now, it's zero. Do we have any good ones? Missionary strength. Missionary strength. That income for vassals. Plus one diplomats and 50% mercenary maintenance might be decent. Um, I have thought about playing somebody in China in um, in the New Order. But I've further got some pretty good content. So, is this our entire army? We have an army size of 56,000. We can have up to 128. And we're making a lot of money, so we should... Ah, we don't have a lot of manpower, though. That's kind of an issue. Well, who are you allied with? You're allied to Finland. If I was to attack you... Do we don't have a truce? We do not. Would France join... We do not owe them 10 favors. Fighting in another war, Diplo Rep, Trust. You have a lot of allies. You're actually allied to a bunch of smaller countries. Austria, Switzerland. Actually, those guys do not matter. I mean, we've already done the Qing in uh, Kaiserreich. I don't remember how old that series is. Last thing in 2021 is watching a Canadian play Croatia. Hell yeah. So how many, how many, um, I have four favors this year. We're getting 0.11 per month. I wouldn't, I, I mean, France has got to be a good ally to have, right? And what about Sicily? You're allied to the Commonwealth, which has about 400,000 men. Commonwealth actually is like the strongest country in Europe right now. So it's something that we do need to worry about. We also have, we do have free policies. We have free admin policy. So we might as well take one. Actually, what's religious unity at right now? 100%. And there's actually nobody to convert. Okay, so those are all basically meaningless. Actually, wait, no. They're not meaningless. Because the, I mean, the Empire is completely orthodox. National unrest, attrition for enemies. 
Getting you the Anti-Heresy Act, I mean, the rest of them is actually kind of garbage, so I guess we'll go with the Anti-Heresy Act. And we'll use that to turn the entirety of the Balkans Catholic, given enough time. What if we were to attack Hungary? They're allied to Persia. Persia has 154,000 men. If I was to attack Persia, would anybody want to be in? Mecca would. Apparently we're allied with Mecca, but I don't think they would do very, very well against the Persians. I would have to assume. Really not sure you're Canadian? I I'm pretty sure, because I'm currently in the country. Um, Hungary, declare war. We also allied to the Pope. Which is here. I mean, we could kill the Pope. My Queen Regent. God damn it, Hungary. We're gonna get you out of Hungary. I'm gonna begin a spy network in Sicily. Is there anyone else we wanna get a spy network against? I guess we can get one against you. And we'll get one against... I mean, that's a lot of... We're rivals with each other, so I guess I'll also build a spy network against you. We actually have a lot of diplomats, which I think is pretty good. Freedom of the press. National unrest will take it. Do we have all the institutions? No, right now we don't have the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment, if I remember correctly, did spawn... Yeah, it spawned in Sri Lanka. So I think it's going to take a while to actually really get into Europe. We're going to be taking some tech debuffs for a little while, which is unfortunate, but really nothing we can do about that. And I would like... Again, I would like to build more units. We'll go with one on you. One on allies. Burgers, that's a lot of peasants. I can spend the money. Spend the money on this. And then I will get a template. We'll go five. Five, one, five. Get them building up in the south. And either invade, again, either invading Hungary for basically what's Bulgaria, or we attack the Byzantine Empire for the rest of the territory. Unfortunately, in EU4, um, you cannot form... You cannot form Yugoslavia. Maybe you need to be Serbian, I don't know. Wait, we're at Jazzy? What? Wait, why are we at Jazzy? <laughs> I don't... I, I don't understand. Okay, sure. I don't know how the hell that happened. We lost our thing at you. Who are our rivals, by the way? Abyssinia, Thessalonica, and the Basin Empire. I mean, those all basically make sense. I wouldn't mind trading one of those rivalries over to Hungary. And is there anyone who would actually want to give me an alliance? Um, uh, interface, diplomacy. We have some. Georgia could say yes. They actually could be useful. George's at 25. Pope's at 25. I'm assuming... Why? I mean, you like us. Negative 140. We're allied... They're allied to Thessalonica. We're allied with France. And France and them do not like each other. But you know what, Georgia, me and you, we can have an alliance, for sure. Um, I would really love you to be a counterbalance against the Persians. You're built roughly even numbers, so I think actually if, if we can get Georgia in the war. Which they wouldn't say yes to. What if I gave them land? I don't want any Hungarian land. What if we do this? And actually, who does this bring into the war? 101 to 250. Okay, that's actually... You're allied with the Abyssinians, which is uh, a lot. Morale of armies seems okay. Apparently, Georgia just has some territory up here. I mean, Georgia has a lot of territory they want to take back from you. Georgia, what do you what about what about the Byzantine Empire? If I gave you some land, you'd be in. Paul Savoy. I mean, but I would want France, and I would, I think, I don't know if I need Italy, but I'd prefer having France on side. Because Abyss, you're not, okay, that's actually against Finland and Abyssinia. Those are also big, major players here, which are all very scary. Very scary, and I don't like them. But I know you're at war right now with Bania. Government reforms, we're all basically good here. And Gria, sure, I think we're kind of hostile to all those people. Your SSR series, you want the CSA to join the international when the CSA stayed away from them? Because I think, I thought that the CSA was able to form their own faction, but I think that was like really old, um, old content that was uh, changed. 
Might as well make you into a uh, another 22 stack, because I think we can afford it. Okay. Screw this up a little bit. We have the 10. Might as well go to 11-11. And we actually have a decent manpower. I thought we had way less than we did, but no, we're actually looking completely okay. Thessalonica, who are you at war with? You're at war in Europe. Because everybody's at war with Bavaria. And you're allied with Bavaria. Okay. I guess that's a coalition war that was building up at the end of the last series. And luckily, I didn't have to deal with it. Oh, France at war with... Yeah, we can join this war. Italy's already taking this province. I mean, you're winning handily. I'm really not too sure why you need me, but, you know, I'll be in the war regardless. I think it's fine. Is there any cut nation in the game that's unified already? I mean, France is basically unified. The Commonwealth is looking pretty good. India's not unified right now. The Ming are still unified, so... We've got a handful, but nothing too, too crazy. Georgia would say yes to this kind of war. So maybe we want to go against the Byzantine Empire next. Take whatever land we can, because I think... I mean, what's, what's our aggressive expansion looking at right now? Oh, basically zero? Okay, lovely. If it's at zero, then what we can do is greatly expanded. We could take over, like, all of this territory, and it would be fantastic. I mean, Algeria is basically dead. Hispania is not long for this world. All of their colonies are being basically taken over. They really don't have too much left to really work with. Because again, France is very big, and they're very scary. The Commonwealth is basically... Yeah, they kind of, I think, fill the Russian role in this uh, alternate universe. I think Finland, Finland and the Commonwealth combined. We play Manchukyo. Again, I will definitely play somebody in China. I don't know if it'll be Manchukyo themselves. It might be just... Um, I think it's just called the Reformed Government of China. But one of those guys we will play eventually. Yeah, I mean, Finland and the Commonwealth being allied together, they're basically like a massive Russia. Which is terrifying, because they're huge. Yearly corruption goes down by 0.1. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. And we'll give us Rebel Support efficiency. I mean, I don't really use Rebel Support that much, but we'll take it. Actually, if we can use Rebel Support maybe in some... Either Commonwealth territory, or some Thessalonican territory. That's a massive navy. Get the hell out of here. How do they have so many boats? 159 is incredible. Is that like the biggest fleet anybody... Okay, France has 185, so shows what I know. Yeah, fortunately, uh, Finland can't form Yugoslavia yet. I believe they still... Like, they, they need Copenhagen, right? So maybe Finland will attack their way into Osvalen, take them over, and then form uh, Scandinavia. I think that would be neat. I don't know if they'll actually do it, though. I will take the tech. Yeah, we'll take the tech. Even though we do need the points for um, overing territory in the Byzantine Empire, getting the tech, getting rid of a little bit of this unbalanced research penalty, which actually we got completely rid of by upgrading that tech, we're looking good. How many generals can I have? Four. So go one, two. Both of them are actually pretty good. So we'll uh, assign you here. I will assign you there. I mean, what we could try to do... I'm not a great power, right? I would be surprised if we're a great power. Oh, we are. We're actually in 8th place. Yeah, we will we'll play them at some point, yes. Uh, great power actions. Break alliance. For you to break alliance with the Persian Empire, they would say no. For the obvious reason that I would immediately attack them. Which, you know, understandable, I would say. By the way, is Bavaria going to win their um, coalition war? They might. I mean, we made um, Bavaria a pretty powerful state. I am hoping the AI doesn't completely flub it up, but... Proven enable technology. What are you? 0.5 inflation. Yeah, no, that's actually pretty good. We'll take it. So right now, we're getting 10 points of admin per month. We got a level 1 guy here. We're actually losing cash right now. Probably do... Yeah, mostly for our army maintenance. Port maintenances, state maintenance, advisors. We have 10% inflation, are you kidding me? And we have war taxes on. Even with war taxes, we're actually still making seven a month, so that's still pretty good. Take loans. 
Why do we have inflation? Our reliance on gold mines. We actually have 11.6 on gold. We actually have a lot of gold. Kosovo has a good gold mine. Do we have an uh, inflation reduction guy? Morale of navies. National unrest. I mean, we could go for tax. What are you right now? Your prestige? I'm going to tell you right now. I do not care. Give me more money. Discipline's okay. And you're all kind of meh. Can I kick you out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to get rid of you. I mean, we paid 35 bucks to kind of re-roll that, but I, I think it's worthwhile. Okay, now just having a better um, guy in charge of taxes, we're making a little bit more cash there. But our inflation, I mean, it's making things way more expensive than they need to be. Cause it, yeah, because you've got a good gold mine. And again, gold is cool, but it's also expensive. And how are we doing this war? We're at 53%. This is just a, a basic imperialist war. Are you going to do? An, are you going to make another uh, 1984 series? Uh, the answer basically is no. We're def I'm definitely not going to make another series, at least not anytime soon. If we were to play another one, it would be playing as one of the free states, but. I will tell, I will, I don't know, it's not really a spoiler, but I have already recorded the entirety of the series. And I don't think there's enough content for, um, another playthrough. At least not right now. Maybe one day, we'll see. Okay, so Bavaria is, okay, Bavaria was doing very well, I think, and now they're getting steamrolled by the, who are they getting steamrolled by? Probably by, like, all of Northeastern Germany. Or Northwestern Germany. They're having a bad time one way or the other, which is very unfortunate for them. We have so many military points. 13 years ahead of time on this. It would give us new infantry and new cavalry. This is actually a really good uh, military attack upgrade. But I need to spend my military points on something. I guess I can boost legitimacy with you. I mean, cause, I mean what else are you going to spend my points on? Yeah, let's do it. Spend 139 on stability. We're okay on that. A lot of reform desire, but like the, the reparation really would just stuck in. Um, it really just stayed in Germany. Maybe maybe Santa Claus is Big Brother. I don't know if anybody's ever considered that or not. I'm buying these fleets up. Do we have? I mean, what's our naval cap? All right, we're actually almost at our naval cap. I'm assuming most of you guys are on trade. So, you're just a bunch of galleys. I mean, you're okay, but I would much prefer more trade ships. Tech trade in. I mean, our capital's here, right? 400 points in there. We're at second 95. Wait, wait, where are our merchants? I actually did not check that yet. We got a merchant here. Transferring trade power to Constantinople. But then you're not doing anything. Did you know our trade capital? No, it's in Zagreb. So why are we collecting in Genoa? And so you're transferring to Constantinople, and then you don't have a merchant here. But you're transferring from Alexandria into... G that doesn't make any goddamn sense. So transfer to... No, recall, recall this merchant. Recall this merchant. Recall... Just give me back all my merchants. They're all not doing anything meaningful. Collect from trade. Which means that I need now to do transfer trade power from here. And we can transfer trade power from here. That should make us more money, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're collecting 10 as opposed to, I think, collecting 3. The good, good, uh... Thumbs up there. 
Throw that stream lab says timed you out. I may maybe I should just like really. I really gotta fix that bot at some point. It's very aggressive in its timeouts. Yeah, now we're making like way more money off trade. I mean, it's still not a ton. It's only 11% uh, of our entire income. So what I probably want to do is transfer our main node to into the Venice node, I would say. Actually, no, Genoa has a lot of money in it as well. But we have 8% power there versus 16% here. We had more people here. 